I remembered at home that I had a few pieces of bamboo left over from some DIY project. So today we're going to show you how to make your very own wind chime. Really simple, guys. We're going to need some pieces of bamboo, hacksaw, we're going to need a tape measure, a block of wood that's going to form the top of our chime. We've got a little eye screw over here, which is going to be where it hangs from. We've got a drill with a small little wooden drill bit, marker, and this guy. This guy is really important. It's a mitre box. You can literally put a piece of wood in here, pop your hacksaw in, and be able to get the right angles. Because you know wind chime, they come down and then they've got those cool angles at the bottom, and it's that angle that gives you the different sounds of the clonk, clonk, okay, that we heard in the garden. All right, and then we need a bit of nylon, which is literally fishing line, and the clearer the better. What I'm gonna be doing is taking a piece, all right, I'm gonna mark it off for my general length that I'm wanting. So, the trick here is from a knot. All right, so the knot is gonna be the top of it. So you go just above the knot, and I'm probably gonna go, yeah, I think about 35 would probably be okay. So, just mark it off. Then, we pop it into our mitre box. All right, so it's kind of simple. Hold it nice and tight, and then just saw away. Right, next thing, guys, is I've got my nice 45 there. Perfect. Now I mentioned just above the knot, because the actual knot inside here, which closes, it goes right across, because we know bamboo is in segments, it's going to be where my little nylon is going to be attached to. So, you know, it's like its own little screw going on there. Pop it into here, into our mitre once again. Nice, 90 degree. Hold it nice and firm against there, and then just simply cut it off. <laughs> Lovely. Do you see how that is your own little segment that's been created there? Perfect. Now I've got one of my charms ready to go. Now all I want is a whole lot more of these. And I've worked out that on my block, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need nine of these little boys. So I'm gonna get going and cutting all my different segments. Okay, guys, I've got my eight little pieces of wood. Okay, now this is the part where we're now going to make a small little hole through here because that's where our twine is now going to attach to to give it that length so we can get the movement. Nice and easy, guys. So I'm going to be doing one, two little holes next to each other because that's where my twine is going to come through so I can knot it and then it's going to go down. All right, so here we go, nice and simple. Right, folks, now that this is prepared, let's put it one side and let's get back to our little chimes. So what we need for this is little pliers, some wire, doesn't need to be very thick, between five and seven mils. And all I'm gonna do here is cut off, just like that, a few little bits. I'm gonna need eight of these, there we go. Right, there we go, all good. We can put that aside, and now we're gonna get our nylon. And folks, whatever nylon you want, whatever thickness, um, you're gonna get that probably from your hardware store, your local fishing shop. And then this is where it's gonna require a little bit of kind of finickety work. It's the only word I can really use. Um, I want you to prepare a knot. So go around and around a few times, right? And then pop the little piece of wire in there and tie it up. Okay, easy, okay? Let's cut that off the little end. Let's get
get our length. Remember, you can always cut it shorter. You can never make it longer. <laughs> so <laughs> rather go with extra bits. You know what I'm saying? OK, fantastic. So let's go about that length. Happiness. Cut it off. Then we take the end that's got the piece of wire on it. We take one of our pieces of bamboo and we're going to drop it in there. Here we go. Feed it a bit. OK. And then pull it back. Ah, and now it's stuck. And there you have it. We're going to repeat that and do that to all of our little charms. And remember, keeping the length, so let's get to it. Right, guys, last one going in. Pull it back. There we go. Right, so take a look, finished product. Here we go. We've got all our little charms ready. Next thing is we now start attaching them to the block. Now we take our block, all right, and all the little holes that we've already drilled, we simply feed it through out the other side. Can you see it? I know it's really fine. Out the other side and then back through. And out the other side, there it is. Okay, so we've got there, we've got the nice little loop that's gonna hold it through the side and now, Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. You now decide the length that you want. Keep your finger on the top so that you don't lose it and you're not moving it. You see, I can let go there. Right, light on its side. And then a simple little knot over here is all we need. There we go. I'm not going to tie it right off to the end because I want a bit of movement there. Right, so there we go. Get the knot. That's the one. And then pull it. Okay, and then snip it off. Right, take a look here. There we go. One little guy hanging. All we've got to do now is do all the rest. And then we nearly got it. Ha <laughs> ha, it's looking fab. All right, folks. The last bit that I want to do is, let's turn this baby here. I'm just going to make a little pilot hole in the middle. And I've got this little guy over here. Pop him in. All right. Take a little piece of our twine. Slide it through here. Tie a knot. There we go. Nice and firm. Give it a couple of times. Let's take this little bit off here. And then lift them up. And there we have. Ha ha ha! Isn't he gorgeous? Listen. <laughs> That's a good sound. So all I've got to do is find a little spot to hang my baby up. And I reckon I'm going to be giving away a lot of wind charms for Christmas. <laughs>